Let's practice rearranging some carbocations. We have a total of six different carbocations that we are going to rearrange. We should always start, before we jump into any rearrangement, we should always start by classifying or categorizing the carbocation. Is it primary or secondary or tertiary or methyl? Because remember, if it's tertiary, it's not even going to bother attempting to rearrange. So this particular carbocation has one carbon bonded to the C+, which makes it a primary, which means it does want to rearrange. This carbocation is bonded to two carbons, so that makes it a secondary carbocation. It also wants to rearrange, uh, tr try to rearrange to tertiary. This bonded to two carbons is also a secondary, so it also wants to rearrange. So all three of these want to rearrange. When we are getting ready to attempt a rearrangement, we want to identify the positively charged carbon and also all of the carbon atoms that are attached directly to the C+. Remember that carbons that are not directly bonded to the C+, are off limits in rearrangement. We're only allowed to shift stuff from an attached carbon. So once we've identified the carbons that are attached, let's just go ahead and do that for all three of these. Here's our C+, and there are two carbons attached to it. So again, these carbons are going to be off limit for shifting. And then our last one, here's our carbon, and these... Um, are the carbons attached, so these are the places that we can shift from. It's also really helpful at this point because you're still pretty new to line structures when we're undergoing rearrangements. It's going to be helpful to draw in the hydrogens that are on these relevant carbon atoms to kind of help you visualize what's there. Remember that the positively charged carbon is always going to be short one bond, so we're only going to have a total of three bonds on it. So let's go ahead and draw for um, the other molecules as well. Let's fill in what what is missing on just on the carbons that are dotted in blue. These are all things that we could possibly shift around. Um, and then also the hydrogen that's on the carbocation to give us a reference. So we have all of our relevant hydrogens drawn into place. And remember with the shifting, we can shift either a hydrogen or we can shift a carbon chain or a methyl group, but it's easiest for the molecule to move a hydrogen because they're small and they're compact and they're easy to move. So the first thing the molecule is going to do is attempt to move a hydrogen. And when we do this shifting, remember that we are going to be trading the positive charge for a hydrogen atom and its bond between these two attached carbons. So this is just going to be a direct trade. And initially it's kind of hard to visualize, but you'll get to a point where you can you'll be able to just visualize that trade without attempting to draw it so you'll know if it's worth um, if it's actually going to be something that the molecule does. So what I've done here is I have traded the positively charged carbon. I moved it to the other carbon the positive charge, I moved to the other carbon, and I picked one of these hydrogens and I moved that to the positively charged carbon. So I just swapped. And what did we make? Uh, we have now a positively charged carbon that's bonded to two, so we have made a secondary carbocation, so this is a very valid and good rearrangement. If we need to draw the mechanism for this re rearrangement, we're going to take the uh, bonding electrons, carbon-hydrogen bonding electrons, and we're going to draw a curved arrow from those electrons to the C+. And there we go. Let's try another one. So here is our positively charged carbon, and what we want to do is to try to trade the positive charge on this carbon for one of these hydrogen atoms. And we've got three total hydrogen atoms. We are only going to pick one, and we want to pick the best one. So we want to kind of visualize, if we were to do the trade, what would make the most sense if we're doing the trade? Remembering that we need to upgrade, we need to try to turn this into a tertiary carbon. And again, you know, if you're really getting this, if it's really clicking, you might be able to immediately see what it is that you need to do. But if you're not quite there yet, then what you want to do is just draw both possibilities. So uh, my first possibility, I'm going to draw trading this hydrogen for the positive charge. That means the positive charge is going to move out here. 
we are now going to have two hydrogens on that what used to be C plus and we still have two hydrogens on the outside. That's one option. Or our second possibility would be to trade the positively charged for either one of these hydrogens. So do a swap like that. And what would that look like? Um, no change to the blue carbon that's on the very left hand side, the left dot. So here's our other option. Um, and in order to pick between these two, we're just going to see what their stability is. The first one that we drew is a C plus that's bonded to three carbon. So that's a tertiary carbon. That's good. Now you might just be saying, oh, there it is. We should have not even considered this. Well, sometimes it's possible to rearrange into two different tertiary carbocations. If that's the case, you have to draw both of them, or maybe there's multiple. What did we make over here? I think I've uh, forgot to follow through with writing a bond to a hydrogen. Yeah. So what did we make over here? This is a carbon that's bonded to two carbons. So this is a secondary carbocation. This is not what the molecule is going to do. So that's not an option. Um, this is the correct answer. Let's do one more. So again, we have our C plus and what we're trying to do is move this positive charge to one of these other dots. We're going to try to shortcut this even faster. Hopefully you're really getting the hang of it. So here's our carbon skeleton. And we initially, I'm just going to redraw this. We initially have the positive charge here. Can we, uh, should we move the positive charge onto this carbon? Or should we move the positive charge onto this carbon? Which would be a better place for it to go? Well, this carbon atom right here would be a tertiary carbocation. So boom. That's what we want. Let's practice with a few more. Um, here, let's start by drawing in, here's our C plus, and here's the carbon that's attached to it. And what we want to do, because this is starting as a primary, we definitely want to rearrange. So we're looking for something attached to this guy that we can shift. This guy does not have any hydrogens on it at all. But remember, it doesn't have to have a hydrogen. You can shift a whole entire methyl group. It's not as easy for the molecule to do, but it's definitely possible. So if we were to shift a whole entire methyl group, we end up with this right here. Now that maybe, who just got a little crazy. So let's put some numbers on these carbons so you can follow them through this reaction. One, two, three. Uh, let's say, I sh oh, I shifted five based on my curved arrows. So there we go. We took this whole entire CH3 plus its electrons and moved it over into this position right there. In doing that, looks like we created a tertiary carbocation. So that is a stable uh, carbocation and a valid rearrangement. Let's take a look at our next example. Here's our C+. Here are the carbon atoms that are attached to it. And we want to ask ourselves, would we rather put the positive charge out here? What would that be? That would be primary. We don't want to do that because we're already starting at secondary. Could we put the positive charge out here? What would that give us? Well, that would be a tertiary carbocation. So that would be good. We would like to have it out there. What can we shift? What can we trade for that positive charge? There is a hydrogen on this carbon, so we can do a swap, move the hydrogen, trade it with the C plus, put a positive charge right there, and we have gone from secondary to tertiary. One last example, here's our positively charged carbon. Here's the carbons attached. Remember, again, one last reminder, you cannot take or shift or trade from carbon atoms that are not directly attached to the C+. So that's why we want to dot these, these relevant carbon atoms. If we were to move this positive charge over here, what would that give us? Looks like that would give us a tertiary carbocation. So that's super. Can we move the positive charge over onto that carbon? Is there anything there that's movable? We have a hydrogen that would be very easy to move. So let's shift that hydrogen over. 
when we shift that hydrogen over, looks like that. We have made tertiary, uh, turned a secondary into a tertiary. I can't handle that bond angle that I drew there. It just doesn't look good. Um, there we go.